Hello. I wanted to talk about um, my method for menu planning in my home. Uh, it's I use it specifically for dinner because breakfast and lunch is not an issue, but I get into slumps at dinner um, where I don't know what to make and all this stuff. So I finally came up with a system that has been working fantastic. And I do talk about it on one of my videos about the details of my plant-based whole foods diet, but um, it's like smack in the middle of that video and it's really long, so I wanted to specifically talk about it on a video. Um, also, I've shared this uh, technique, not technique, this system with a lot of my friends and they've all said that it has really helped them not stress so much about what to make for dinner and grocery shopping and all of that. So anyway, um, basically, you don't have to be uh, on a whole foods plant-based diet to use this system. It can work for anybody. Um, it can, uh, for me, it covers eight weeks of uh, dinner menu. Uh, if you have three months worth of, of recipes, awesome. If you don't want to do it, you know, that long, um, that's fine. Uh, you may want to do seasonal ones, whatever. But basically, make a list of all the recipes you want uh, to use for your dinner. And, um... What I did then, after making a long list of all the recipes I had, I have, I um, I ended up with eight weeks worth, and that's not much. Um, but you have to consider our diet. Um, I don't make uh, elaborate meals anymore because I have a three and a one year old, and it's just impossible to be in the kitchen for three hours. So um, in this season of life, I look for quick easy meals that are very nutritious and that I keep the majority of the ingredients in the house on a regular basis. I don't want one dish to have tahini and one dish to have, uh, I don't know, coconut milk and one dish to have this and one dish to have that. Coconut milk is a bad example because that's inexpensive. But, you know, just a lot of different ingredients that all cost a lot of money, you know. Um, so I try to keep it simple but delicious and also variety. Um, so I have eight weeks worth of recipes and after I did that I broke that list up into categories uh, Mediterranean food, Asian food, Latin food, Mexican food, American food and I have another category Italian food and um, then I got one from each of those categories and made a week out of it so one week every week we have one Asian meal one Italian meal, one Latin meal, one Mediterranean meal, and so forth. And it works awesome. Then uh, what I did with each week, I made a grocery list for each week. So if I'm going by week one, where our, din our dinner for that week may be fried rice, uh, chickpea curry, uh, black beans and rice with tostones, uh, Mexican lasagna, uh, spaghetti, uh, and something else. Hold on, baby. Okay, baby. Take care of it. And so that week has the grocery list for those meals. So I don't have to write them down every time I go to the grocery store. They are already pre-written. Um, and then I have an always have grocery list. So every time I'm going to go grocery shopping, of course, throughout the week, if we run out of toothpaste or paper towels or something like that, I write it down. Then I grab the list of whatever week... Uh, of meals we're making and I look over my always have grocery list and that is stuff like oatmeal, um, beans, rice, brown rice, uh, sun butter, almond butter, olive oil, olives, frozen vegetables, fruit. I run down that list because I always like to have those things at home. Um, and it, whatever I need, I write it down and I add it to my list and it is so much faster than sitting down and thinking okay what am I gonna make this week what goes into those meals then you get there you forgot something whatever um, also of course I don't it's not written in stone so sometimes I'll look at the week and I'm like oh I don't want to make spaghetti I want to make pizza so I'll switch it that's fine or oh I don't have this so let's just do this instead and it is okay it's not like you have to make it and sometimes I'll look at the weeks and I'll look at all of them and I'll just get the easiest dish, dish from each week for this week because this week is really overwhelming or stressful or busy and um, I would just want to be able to make a really 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 easy dish because of course they're mostly uh, easy but some of them are a little more time-consuming than others and um, 
that's what I do and it works great it has helped our budget it has helped um, me not get into slumps with dinner and not know what to make so just make the same thing over and over um, and it has helped um, to just not get tired of stuff either because um, you only have vegetable curry once a month or once every month and a half it's not gonna get old you know so it's been a good method and I hope it helps you all have a good